What up weebs, today we're going back in time to look at this Mega Man figure from Jada Toys. Mega Man is the game series that took the world by storm. I remember spending hours on the NES and SNES trying to beat these games. And every Mega Man game followed a simple formula. You beat a robot master and you steal his powers. And use that power up to exploit the next boss's weakness. The music, characters, and power-ups are what make this game series iconic. And now the blue bomber is in action figure form. Here is the box, and I think the packaging looks sweet. It's got the OG Mega Man logo there, also 8-bit font. Up here, you got the energy tank. That is a cool detail. It's also a picture of him using the Mega Buster. You're just ready to go. That's sweet. On this side, some 8-bit art of the OG Mega Man. That's a nice little homage. Same on this side. On the back, here is a preview of the Wave 1 figures. You got Fireman and Iceman here. More robot masters at the bottom. We have Elec Man, Bomb Man, Cut Man, and Guts Man. So that could be a hint at figs to come. And this is everything he comes with. For accessories, you have two open hands. One of them is like styling. There is an extra head and he's like mean mugging. I love that angry face. He's got attitude, you know? No Mega Man fig would be complete without the Mega Buster. This has got that glossy blue finish, an energy bar, and some blue shading as well. Over here, it's red, ready to shoot. There's also this effect part and stand. This just plugs in, and this looks kind of cool. The blast effect is like a translucent kind of yellow, and it plugs right into the stand. Okay, first impressions. I love the blue, the glossy blue with the shading on the helmet. That just looks super clean. Contrast that with that mohawk thing going on. That is a matte color. That looks really cool. And so far, this is the Mega Man I remember. Obviously not an 8-bit version, but this is classic Mega Man. You got vent holes in the back. The face looks really well done. They capture him as a character. And there are like minor little things like scuffs like that. But overall, that is a good head sculpt. Man, as a fan, I am loving it. And I think you guys will too. Check out the body next. I'm really digging that light blue. There are some minor like paint mistakes, scuffs. And wow, check out that shading. That is a nice detail on the matte finish there. And again, I like the contrast between the arm, the armor pieces that are a dark glossy blue and the rest of his body, which is like a lighter blue with a matte finish. There is a ton of detail in the shading as well. And keep in mind, this fig is only $20. So that's a lot of detail for the price point. And wow, Jada Toys is killing it so far. Now you are going to see some minor paint mistakes here, like for example on this figure at the top of the legs, if you guys can see that. But for the most part, this is really good. Checking out the back of the legs now. Most of the shading is up at the front, but these boots look pretty cool. Yeah, here is more of that light blue shading that looks really nice. And okay, and going to the bottom. You got his classic soles. That's a nice detail. They didn't have to do that, but that is sweet. On to articulation. Head goes up and it goes down even further. That's like a double ball peg kind of thing going on there. That's kind of cool. Okay. And he bends up about that far at the uh, diaphragm. It's quite a bit of range. Bending forward now. He can like bow pretty much. Keep in mind, Mega Man is a smaller fig, so it'll be hard to put engineering into here, but let's see what we can get. That head still does swivel, tilt. I don't know if the torso pops up and down, does not, but it does tilt side to side for some of those angled poses. Okay, into the arms now. Lateral, stops there, but... Yeah, it looks like you can rotate all the way around, up and down. Of course, you can rotate the forearms to get him into other poses there. Let's check out the elbow, single jointed. 
it looks like. Okay, it gets all the way up. That's nice. Checking out the um, forearm swivel and the wrist now spins and a hinge there. Honestly, that's pretty good. Okay, with this being a smaller fig, there are no butterfly joints, but it looks like the arms go all the way forward. So that is good to see. Once we get the Mega Buster on this guy, we'll see how far the arms go across. Okay, into the legs now. Splits. JCVD. It looks like the legs can go all the way up. So let's just check. Yeah, that's pretty far. And I think you, yeah, you can twist it to get even farther up if you want. Going backwards now. Stops before his armor. Okay, twist the upper portion of the leg. Yeah, that's there. Bottom. Okay. Looks like a single knee joint, so you can get 90. Yeah, 90 there. And the boots now, you have some ankle rocking. That's all nice. And you can tilt it as well, the hinge. Down and up. Watch out for the loose legs, that kind of sucks. I wanted to start off with a classic Mega Man pose, your boy dropping in for the nostalgia. The Mega Buster is super easy to use, pop off the arm and the cannon goes in. Okay, let's try this now. You guys might remember this if you played Smash Bros. And bam. I love that the effect part comes with it. That's just so dope. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this, make sure you sub so you don't miss any more of these unboxings. Here's another classic. We have the open right hand on the blaster. It just works so well. Now the Mega Buster is ambidextrous. It works on the right hand as well. You know, we had to try the style hand. Another classic pose. I wanted to see how well that hand worked at holding the buster and it's pretty good, especially with that angry face. So how well does he scale? This is the 112 scale and he comes in at four and a half inches, which seems about right. Like we have to keep in mind that he is shorter than your average character. And next to these Hasbro figs, he looks pretty good. Even next to some of these figure arts, he looks good as well. Personally, I had a ton of fun posing and playing with this fig. Links below if you want to get one for yourself. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. It really helps with the channel. Watch this video next and sub if you're a weeb. Peace.